making the audience immoral. Yep, I'm being serious. That scene made the audience, myself included, immoral. What do I mean? Well, let's face it, the moment you saw that lightsaber, the moment you saw Darth Vader in all his glory, holding all his power, using the force to keep the door shut, deflecting blasters, killing all the rebels, you're cheering. The first time you saw this film, and I don't care who you are, you would have been cheering. It was an amazing scene. You are cheering. You are cheering for a bad guy slaughtering good, innocent people. See? I, <laughs> it's the best scene in the film, but it makes you, the audience, wrong. I mean, let's face it, Gareth Edwards, you're a legend for making the audience cheer for the slaughter of innocent people, but... <laughs> You, but the scene's all, the scene's perfect, but it's just, you're cheering. That's the wrongness of this. Final thoughts. Well, as you can probably tell, I've actually enjoyed this film. There isn't actually that much wrong in this film. There is actually so much right with this film. It's actually, you do get the sense that this is a Star Wars film. You get the sense, and I'm glad they did this, it's the still 70s uniforms, 70s set pieces. You've got all that. And some of this is built from scratch. The Death Star plans with its error. I didn't pick that up in this film because it wasn't the film's, this film's fault. But there is an error on the Death Star plans. Yet they kept that error in and they kept it using 70s graphics. Amazing. Most days, most directors would have actually modernized it and updated it, but Gareth Edwards didn't. He's actually gone back and recreated the costumes from the 70s. Fantastic. You can't, I've never ever prized costume design before, yet Gareth Edwards' costume design and the people who actually did the costumes did a bang up job. The soundtrack, granted it's not John Williams, you are never, ever gonna get as good as John Williams. But I'll tell you one thing, they gave a bloody good shot. It's not far away. <laughs> There's not really much to say about this film. And the one thing that's got me about this film, I've seen it a few times and I've watched it again for this review, is the special effects, especially with the Star Destroyers. Every time I've watched it, I have wondered, are they models or are they VFX? Now they are VFX, they are computer generated, but that's how good they are when you are questioning and saying, that looks like a mod 